Artists are like everybody. Some are very interesting, some are very shy, some are kind of gruff, some even unpleasant. So they're no different than the rest of us. They, uh, most of them are very bright, intellectual, some, I find that wonderful. I, I love to learn things, I like information. And so if somebody can teach me something, I like that. It's an aluminum square, and then he attaches a hose here, and a piece of equipment pulls all the air out, and it naturally collapses. So if you want a particular shape, forget it. You'll get what happens. I think this is just fantastic. If I get to be involved with one over a period of time and get to know them a little better, I then gain an understanding of where they're coming from in their work. But I don't find that necessary to enjoy a piece of work. There's a lot of challenges to art. This artist back here called Nuncio takes fallen wood from the forest, but he burns it. And that's his MO. Some of them have uh, incredible success. Uh, this is Murakami. He's major, huge success. Um, some others are struggle, and some never make it at all. I mean, to decide that you want to grow up to be an artist is uh, a worthy <laughs> goal, but it doesn't come with any guarantees. And if whatever it is you do doesn't appeal to a buying public, then you're not gonna get rich over your art. It may be very satisfying to you to make your art and wonderful because maybe you're not doing it for others. Maybe you're doing it for yourself. Beauty in nature, I, I think especially for me, I, ha I have such joy in nature. I like natural things. I like barbed wire. I'm a wilderness person, so I like things that you would find hiking or tramping through the woods or marching through the desert. I love things made out of sticks, wood, stones. Look at, talking about wood. Is that cool looking or not? It's, that's a work of art. So it doesn't have to be a million dollar painting to enjoy it. It can be something that you find on the ground. I'm a private pilot and it looks like a propeller to me. So that's why. <laughs> I picked that up. <laughs> I love rocks, so if I see a sculpture that's made out of rocks, I'm a real pigeon. Art is, it makes you sad, it makes you glad, it makes you happy, it makes you mad. It will incite lots of emotions within you when you observe it. Aren't we much happier in an environment that speaks of this than if these were just four white walls? This is James Terrell and it's a sky space. The design came out of my head, and I'm just really thrilled with it. Just being in this space epitomizes the pleasure of art collecting and the importance of sharing it with other people. Um, it can be a surprise for them or a uh, 
revelation. It can be fun. It can be a learning experience. And for me, it's just pure pleasure.